Yo, yo, what's cracking, YouTube? It's your boy, Professor Crypto. Got another hot crypto class for you guys today. This one's on fire. You guys already know. Anything we bring on the channel, it's got the heat, it's got the potential, and it definitely should be watched. This one is no different, guys. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Class is now in session. This one is called Tezos. Guys, Tezos is a huge name in the cryptocurrency industry. This one is listed on several exchanges, guys. They've had a lot of traction in the cryptocurrency industry regarding innovation, and it is definitely one project that has received a great deal of attention in 2019. It's so-called self-evolving blockchain designed to host scalable dApps while being governed by stakeholders. In 2019 alone, Tezos introduced three new programming languages for smart contracts, registered more than 400 delegates, and implemented several protocol updates, and recently nailed several prominent partnerships, including one with Brazil's largest investment bank. These achievements and more helped the cryptocurrency climb the ranking to achieve secure the position of the 10th largest cryptocurrency after XTZ gained more than 200% in 2019. However, the Tezos mainnet has only been operating since June 2018, which means the platform is still very much in its infancy. As such, there are still very few dApps operating on the blockchain. Nevertheless, part of the reason Tezos is likely to continue its moon growth in 2020 can be attributed to the success of Tezos's founder developer training initiative, which saw it provide grants to train more than a thousand new Tezos developers in 2019. Their slogan, secure, upgradable, built to last. Tezos is an open source platform for assets and applications backed by a global community of validators, researchers, and builders. You can access their developer portal here and activate, store, and use with this link. Tezos addresses key barriers facing blockchain adoption to date, smart contract safety, long-term upgradability, and open participation. Secure institutional grade smart contracts. Tezos is designed to provide the safety and code correctness required for assets and other high value use cases. Its native smart contract language, Michelson, facilitates formal verification, a methodology commonly used in mission critical environments, such as the aerospace, nuclear, and semiconductor industries. Upgradable to the state of the art. Tezos modular architecture and formal upgrade mechanism allow the network to propose and adopt new technological innovations smoothly as they emerge. These aspects combined with Tezos on-chain invoicing mechanism enable the protocol to remain the same state of the art long into the future without sacrificing community consensus. Open participation and incentive alignment. In Tezos, all stakeholders may participate in network upgrades by evaluating, proposing, or approving amendments. Unlike in proof of work and other proof of stake networks, all stakeholders can help to secure the network via baking or delegating and avoid being diluted by inflation. Individuals and entities all over the world are building on and advancing Tezos. Nomadic Labs, Tezos Commons Funds, Tezos Foundation, Tezos Japan, Tezos Korea, Tezos Southeast Asia, TQ Tezos. So a little more info regarding their developer portal resources for their developers when you're getting started hello world very basic introductional tutorials deploy and interact with a contract on the testnet run a Tezos sandbox try legal right in the browser get started with TP plus to manage Tezos environments number two write a smart contract learn how to author smart contracts and the choice of the syntax code will compile to Michelson the smart contract language of the Tezos blockchain. Use a library. Use a library to integrate Tezos with your application. Use a block explorer to explore the blockchain. More resources at the bottom guys, core infrastructure, tools, and courses. If you're a developer and you're interested in Tezos, be sure to check all of that out guys. It's definitely for your benefit. So let's go over their self amendment. It allows Tezos to upgrade itself without having to split or fork the network into two different blockchains. This is important as the suggestion or expectation expectation of a fork can divide the community, alter stakeholder incentives, and disrupt the network effects that are formed over time. Because of self-amendment, coordination and execution costs for protocol upgrades are reduced and future innovations can be seamlessly implemented. On-chain governance. In Tezos, all stakeholders can participate in governing the protocol. The election cycle provides a formal and systematic procedure for stakeholders to reach agreement on proposed protocol amendments by combining this on-chain mechanism with self-amendment, Tezos can change this initial election process to adopt better governance mechanisms when they are discovered. Decentralized innovation. Proposed amendments that are accepted by stakeholders can include payment to individuals or groups that improve the protocol. 
This funding mechanism encourages robust participation and decentralizes the maintenance of the network, fostering an active, open, and diverse developer ecosystem that is incentivized to contribute to the protocol will facilitate Tezos development and adoption. Smart contracts and formal verification. Tezos offers a platform to create smart contracts and build decentralized applications that cannot be censored or shut down by third parties. Furthermore, Tezos facilitates formal verification, a technique used to improve security by mathematically proving properties about programs such as smart contracts. This unique, if used properly, can help avoid costly bugs and the continuous debates that follow. Proof of stake. Participant nodes in decentralized peer-to-peer -peer networks provide the necessary computational resources that keep a network up and running. Proof of stake is the mechanism by which the various participants in Tezos reach consensus on the state of the blockchain. Unlike other POS protocols, any stakeholder can participate in the consensus process in Tezos and be rewarded by the protocol itself for contributing to the security and stability of the network. Additionally, POS is less costly than other consensus mechanisms and lowers the barrier to entry for involvement. Delegation. In POS, a security deposit is required to participate in the consensus process and avoid being diluted by inflation. As in proof of work, the consensus protocol relies on an honest majority for its security, which is incentivized directly by Tezos protocol by penalizing dishonest behavior and rewarding honest behavior. Participant behaves dishonestly, they can lose their deposit. Users who do not wish to participate directly in the consensus protocol have the option to delegate their rights to other users to participate on their behalf. This is Tezos on CoinMarketCap, guys. They are ranked number 10, super high rank. They're trading at approximately $2.97 US. That's a 10% increase from yesterday. Their market cap, approximately $2 billion, almost 2.1. That is 234,000 Bitcoins. Their volume, 24 hours, $325 million US, approximately 36,000 Bitcoins. Circulating supply, approximately 702.1 million XTZ. Very sexy chart here, guys. As you can see, they have reached their peak very recently on Wednesday, February 19th, where they're trading at $3.78 US. Since then, they have dropped down a little bit, but they are still very, very high compared to everywhere else that they have been. Shout out to the Tezos team and everything going on with them. Nice job on your project. Nice job on the coin growth. Nice job in general. After a first look at Tezos, guys, this is definitely a 2020 radar. Keep this one close and keep your eyes on it. By building a vibrant ecosystem of developers trained to work on Tezos, the potential of the technology will likely be better explored in 2020 as new dApps and projects built on Tezos start to appear. Because of this, it seems we might have only scratched the surface of what Tezos is capable of. Shout out to all my students, guys. I love you. Shout out to the Crypto Class Gang. Shout out to the Lambo Gang. Shout out to the Whale Gang. Shout out to the Hotel Gang. Thank you for all your continuous support guys i really appreciate it if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to smash that like button and drop a comment in the comment section below please remember we are an impartial channel guys so whether your opinion is negative or positive we'd be more than happy to hear it that being said class is now dismissed we'll see you in our next video professor crypto out Morris. Morris.